the tapestry of human history, the thread of learning has been spun and respun, from the ancient scrolls of Confucius to the digital screens of today. The teachings of Confucius, a beacon of wisdom in ancient China, have traversed centuries, evolving in the way they are imparted, but remaining immutable in their essence. This journey, from inkbrush scrolls to the swipe of screens, encapsulates not just a technological evolution, but a testament to the enduring relevance of Confucian principles in the modern world. The dawn of Confucianism, over two millennia ago, introduced a philosophical framework that has since permeated the fabric of Chinese society and beyond. Central to Confucian thought are the concepts of Rin, benevolence, Li, propriety, and Yi, righteousness, principles that guide moral conduct, social harmony, and personal growth. In ancient times, these teachings were meticulously inscribed on bamboo and silk scrolls, treasures of wisdom accessible to the few who were literate and privileged enough to study them. As centuries unfolded, the medium of learning transitioned from scrolls to printed books, courtesy of the invention of the printing press. This technological leap democratized knowledge, making Confucius's teachings more accessible. Scholars and students alike could now delve into the analects and parables of Confucianism, engaging with the text in a more intimate, personal manner. This era also saw the embedding of Confucian ideals into the examination systems of Imperial China, a testament to their ingrained value in shaping ethical governance and societal norms. Fast forward to the present, and the digital age has revolutionized the dissemination and study of Confucian philosophy yet again. Online platforms, ebooks, and virtual classrooms have broken down geographical barriers, enabling a global audience to explore and interact with Confucian teachings. The ancient wisdom of Confucius, once confined to the elite scholars of the Zhou dynasty, now resonates with people across the world, from all walks of life, through the screens of their devices. This transition from scrolls to screens, however, is not without its challenges. The digital age, with its fleeting attention spans and information overload, poses a risk to the deep, reflective engagement that Confucianism demands. Yet, it also offers unparalleled opportunities for creative reinterpretation and application of Confucian values in contemporary contexts. Video narratives, interactive forums, and online courses have emerged as vibrant platforms for discussing and living out the principles of Ren, Li, and Yi in today's fast-paced world. Integrating real-life examples into the teachings, such as stories of modern-day acts of benevolence or discussions on ethical leadership in the corporate world, can bridge the ancient and the current, making Confucianism relevant for a new generation. Skillful deployment of idioms like, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, can resonate with the universal quest for personal improvement and moral integrity. Moreover, the Confucian emphasis on education and moral development finds a natural ally in the digital world's capacity for knowledge sharing and community building. In crafting these narratives, there is a careful balance to be struck. One must respect the profundity of Confucian teachings while making them engaging and accessible to the digital audience. The aim is not to dilute the wisdom of Confucius but to distill it, presenting it in a form that is both palatable and potent for the modern seeker of knowledge. From scrolls to screens, the evolution of learning Confucius's teachings mirrors humanity's broader journey of progress and transformation. It is a journey that reminds us of the enduring power of wisdom to transcend time and medium. As we navigate the digital landscape, let us carry forward the ancient yet timeless virtues of Confucianism, applying them to our lives with a new understanding and renewed commitment. In doing so, we honor not only the great sage Confucius, but also the unbroken chain of learners and thinkers who have kept his teachings alive through the ages. In the heart of the digital age, where the cacophony of electronic devices often drowns out the quiet whispers of wisdom, a unique virtual experience emerges, bridging millennia and megabytes. The virtual sage, a Confucius experience like no other, is not just an application. It's a journey back in time to the era of Confucius, reimagined for the modern seeker of knowledge and virtue. As you enter the virtual realm, you're greeted by the serene landscape of ancient China, a meticulously crafted digital canvas that immediately instills a sense of tranquility. The master himself, Confucius, appears before you, not as a mere avatar, 
but as a lifelike presence, his expressions and movements infused with the wisdom of ages. His voice, firm yet gentle, invites you to explore the depths of Confucian philosophy, making you feel as if you're truly in the presence of the great sage. The experience is divided into interactive sessions, each designed to unravel the complexities of Confucian thought in a manner that resonates with today's audience. The first session delves into the diversity of love. Here, Confucius articulates the nuanced differences between filial piety, brotherly affection, romantic love, and universal benevolence. Through interactive scenarios, users are encouraged to apply these forms of love in various contexts, revealing the relevance of ancient wisdom in contemporary life. In another session, the concept of Li as a life-generating activity is explored. Participants navigate through virtual environments, engaging in activities that exemplify Li. Planting a virtual garden or resolving conflicts within a community, users experience firsthand the transformative power of harmonious actions, understanding how Li cultivates goodness and nurtures life. Moral intuition and humility are not merely lectured upon but experienced. Users find themselves faced with moral dilemmas, each choice branching into different consequences. Through these virtual trials, participants develop a keen moral intuition, learning the importance of humility and self-awareness in ethical decision-making. The application skillfully integrates idioms and real-life examples, making Confucian philosophy accessible and engaging. Idioms like a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step are not just explained but lived through virtual quests. Real-life scenarios, updated regularly, challenge users to apply Confucian principles in situations ranging from workplace dynamics to environmental conservation, demonstrating the timeless applicability of these teachings. The Virtual Sage also emphasizes the educational aspects of Confucianism, incorporating interactive lessons on virtue ethics and the importance of conscientiousness. Users can track their progress, earning virtual accolades for demonstrating practical application of virtues, fostering a digital community committed to moral excellence. As the experience draws to a close, participants are left with a profound sense of connection, not only to Confucius and his teachings, but to the core of their being. The virtual sage, though a product of technology, becomes a conduit for ancient wisdom, illuminating the path to a virtuous life. In crafting the virtual sage, a Confucius experience like no other, the narrative weaves a tapestry of emotion, wisdom, and virtual interaction, embodying the essence of Confucian philosophy while embracing the possibilities of the digital age. It's a testament to how the seeds of ancient wisdom can find new soil in the hearts of modern seekers, growing into a garden of virtue that transcends time and technology. In the heart of a bustling modern city, where the cacophony of daily life drowns out the whispers of the past, a groundbreaking virtual reality, VR, experience is born, offering a sanctuary of wisdom amidst the chaos. Immerse yourself. The life and teachings of Confucius is not merely a VR application. It's a journey through time, a bridge connecting the ancient to the contemporary, and a profound exploration of the enduring legacy of one of history's greatest philosophers, Confucius. As users don their VR headsets, they are transported to the serene landscapes of ancient China, where the air is thick with the scent of ink and parchment, and the echoes of Confucius's words fill the atmosphere. The experience is crafted to be an odyssey of emotions, beginning with an engaging opener that captures the essence of Confucius's humble beginnings. Born in 551 BCE in the state of Lu, now known as Shandong Province, Confucius rose from modest origins to become a revered teacher and philosopher. The narrative technique, inspired by Danielle Steele's ability to weave emotion and depth into every story, ensures that users are not merely passive observers but active participants in Confucius's world. They walk beside him through the verdant fields of China, listening intently as he shares his teachings on morality, ethics, and the importance of family and social harmony. Each lesson, from the diversity of love to the significance of moral intuition and the vitality of Li as a life-generating activity, is presented in approachable English making the teachings of Confucius accessible to all. Skillfully integrating idioms and real-life examples, 
the narrative brings ancient philosophy to life in a manner that resonates with the modern soul. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, Confucius once said, and so users are encouraged to reflect on their own life's journey through the lens of Confucian wisdom. The application of virtue ethics, emphasizing the practical living out of virtues, becomes not just a lesson from the past but a guide for present-day challenges. Confucianism's emphasis on moral humility, conscientiousness, and the educational aspects of moral development are explored through interactive scenarios within the VR experience. Users face ethical dilemmas, make decisions, and witness the consequences of their actions, all within the safe confines of virtual reality. This immersive approach ensures that the teachings of Confucius are not merely heard but felt and internalized. As the narrative draws to an impactful close, users find themselves atop a virtual mountain, overlooking a landscape that bridges ancient and modern China. It's a poignant reminder of Confucius's relevance in today's world, where moral humility and the pursuit of harmony are more needed than ever. The journey through Immerse Yourself, the life and teachings of Confucius leaves users with a sense of enlightenment and a deep appreciation for the wisdom that has transcended centuries. In crafting this narrative, every effort has been made to respect copyright rules and ensure that content adheres to ethical and legal guidelines. The result is a unique and engaging tale that honors the legacy of Confucius, making his teachings accessible and relevant to a global audience. Through this pioneering VR experience, the ancient wisdom of Confucius steps into the digital age, offering guidance, inspiration, and a path to harmony in the midst of modern chaos. In the heart of a bustling metropolis, beneath the shadow of towering skyscrapers and amidst the ever-persistent hum of city life, there existed an unassuming, yet revolutionary, VR studio. This studio, known as Chronopaths, offered an experience unlike any other. The ability to walk the path of ancient philosophers, to see the world through their eyes, and to embody their teachings. Among their most immersive experiences was VR time travel, Walk the Path of Confucius. The experience began as you donned the VR headset, finding yourself transported to the tranquil gardens of ancient China. The air was filled with the delicate scent of jasmine, and the soft, melodious sounds of Guqin strings played in the background. It was here, in this serene setting, that you first encountered the digital embodiment of Confucius. Confucius, or Kongzi, as he was known, greeted you with a warm, inviting smile. His presence was calming, his voice gentle yet authoritative. As you walked together along the stone paths of the garden, he shared his teachings, his wisdom flowing as effortlessly as the river you meandered beside. The first lesson was on the diversity of love. Confucius explained how love, in its many forms, was the foundation of a harmonious society. From the filial piety of a child to their parents to the fraternal affection between friends, each form of love was a thread in the fabric of social harmony. As you continued your journey, Confucius spoke of moral intuition. He taught that beyond the written laws and rituals, there was an innate sense of morality within each person. Trust your moral instincts, he urged, for they will guide you in the absence of laws. The concept of Li was next. Confucius described it as a life-generating activity, an expression of love and goodness that transcended mere social etiquette. It was about living a life that was in harmony with the natural order of things, a theme that resonated deeply as you observed the seamless blend of architecture and nature around you. Moral humility and conscientiousness were virtues that Confucius held in high regard. He emphasized the importance of being modest in one's achievements and diligent in one's moral duties. A true scholar is not boastful of their knowledge, but humble in their continuous pursuit of it, he explained. The practical application of virtue ethics was perhaps the most engaging lesson. Confucius challenged you to apply the virtues discussed in real-life scenarios within the VR world. From resolving conflicts with empathy and understanding to making ethical decisions that benefited the community, each scenario was a test of your moral compass. Confucius also stressed the importance of education, not just in scholarly pursuits but in moral development. To be educated is to be enlightened, not only in mind but in spirit, he stated. 
highlighting the role of education in achieving social harmony. As the experience neared its end, Confucius touched upon the concepts of generalism and particularism in morality, ethics, and ontology. He spoke of the balance between adhering to general moral principles and considering the particularities of each situation. The merging of ethical discourse with ontological considerations was a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of being, morality, and the cultivation of virtue. The VR experience concluded as you found yourself back in the modern world, the lessons of Confucius lingering in your mind. VR time travel, walk the path of Confucius, was not just an immersive journey through ancient China. It was a profound exploration of Confucian philosophy, a testament to the timeless relevance of his teachings. As you reflected on the experience, you realized that the wisdom of Confucius was not confined to the past. It was a guide for the present, a beacon for the future. In a world fraught with ethical dilemmas and moral challenges, the teachings of Confucius offered a path towards a more harmonious, virtuous life. And in this realization lay the true magic of VR time travel. Walk the path of Confucius. The ability to bridge the gap between the ancient and the modern, to connect the wisdom of the past with the challenges of the present, and to inspire a future where virtues are not just ideals, but lived realities. In the realm of storytelling, there exists a world where ancient philosophy and cutting-edge technology converge to create an unparalleled narrative experience. This is the world of beyond the text, experiencing Confucianism in virtual reality, a pioneering venture that merges the profound teachings of Confucianism with the immersive power of virtual reality. As a master raconteur, my aim is to guide you through this journey, where ancient wisdom meets modern innovation creating a tapestry of experiences that resonate with the soul. Our tale begins in the contemplative silence of a virtual reality environment designed to embody the serene beauty of a classical Chinese garden. Here, the principles of Confucianism are not merely subjects to be studied but lived experiences. This virtual realm is crafted with an unmatched narrative ability, ensuring that every element, from the rustling bamboo to the meticulously designed scholar's rocks, serves as a testament to the diversity of love and moral intuition that Confucianism emphasizes. As users navigate through this digital landscape, they encounter scenarios that challenge them to apply the virtues of Confucian thought in their interactions. The skillful deployment of idioms, such as a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or when friends visit from afar, is it not a joy, enriches the narrative, providing users with insights into the importance of conscientiousness, moral humility, and the practical application of virtue ethics in everyday life. One compelling segment of the experience involves a virtual recreation of a classic Confucian classroom, where users engage in debates and discussions on ethical dilemmas, highlighting the educational aspects and the distinction between intellectual and practical virtues. This segment is meticulously designed to reflect the Confucian belief in the transformative power of education and the role it plays in moral development and social harmony. Integrating real-life samples plays a crucial role in enhancing the credibility and audience connection. For instance, users are presented with modern-day scenarios that require the application of Confucian principles, such as resolving conflicts with empathy and understanding, or making ethical decisions in the workplace. These examples demonstrate the timeless relevance of Confucian philosophy bridging the gap between ancient wisdom and contemporary challenges. The experience culminates in a virtual reflection room, where users are encouraged to contemplate their journey through the realm of Confucianism. Here, the narrative draws upon the ethics and ontology of Confucian thought, prompting users to reflect on the nature of being and the cultivation of virtue in their lives. This impactful close not only reinforces the lessons learned, but also invites users to carry these teachings beyond the virtual world and into their daily lives. In crafting this narrative, a careful balance is maintained between uniqueness and listener engagement, ensuring that the tale is both captivating and enlightening. The respect for copyright rules is evident in the meticulous sourcing of content and the ethical use of technology to bring ancient teachings to life in a manner that is respectful and authentic. Beyond the text, experiencing Confucianism in virtual reality is not just a story. It is an invitation to embark on a journey of self-discovery and moral reflection. Through the integration of ancient philosophy and virtual reality, 
it offers a unique perspective on the relevance of Confucian teachings in the modern world, making it a tale that resonates with the heart and mind, perfect for translation into speech and beyond. In the golden glow of dawn, Confucius found himself in a realm unlike any other, a world where the ancient wisdom of the East met the cutting-edge technology of the West. This was not the familiar landscape of his homeland, but a virtual reality, meticulously designed to bridge centuries and cultures. A new dimension of learning was not just a metaphorical journey for Confucius, but a literal exploration of how his teachings could transcend time and space, finding a new home in the hearts and minds of people across the globe. As Confucius navigated through this digital world, he encountered avatars of diverse backgrounds, each representing a student eager to learn the principles that had guided him. With the unmatched narrative ability he was known for, Confucius began to weave stories that captivated his audience. Stories that were not just tales but lessons in virtue, morality, and the art of living. Drawing upon his expert application of ancient Chinese philosophy, Confucius introduced the diversity of love, explaining how the affection between friends differed from that of family, yet each was crucial to the fabric of society. He spoke of moral intuition, the innate sense of right and wrong that guides us, and how Li as a life-generating activity was central to understanding our actions' impact on the world. With every word, Confucius demonstrated moral humility, reminding his listeners of the importance of modesty and self-awareness. But it was not just through words that Confucius taught. This virtual realm allowed him to deploy idioms in innovative ways, using the environment to visually represent phrases like, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, thereby enriching the narrative and deepening the understanding of his teachings. He merged real-life examples into his stories, creating scenarios where avatars faced moral dilemmas, and through their choices, illustrated the practical application of virtue ethics in daily life. Confucius emphasized the importance of education, not just in moral development, but in achieving social harmony. He explored the tension between intellectual and practical virtues, ensuring his students understood that wisdom was not merely to be contemplated, but lived. The virtual world around them, with its detailed simulations and scenarios, served as the perfect backdrop for these lessons, allowing for an immersive educational experience that transcended traditional learning methods. Yet, in crafting these narratives, Confucius was ever mindful of the balance between uniqueness and listener engagement. He understood that each tale spun had to respect the individual preferences of his audience while pushing the boundaries of creativity. Adhering to ethical and legal guidelines, he ensured that his teachings were not just profound, but also respectful of the cultures and traditions they touched upon. As his journey in virtual reality came to a close, Confucius reflected on the impact of his teachings. He had successfully merged ancient philosophy with modern technology, demonstrating that wisdom knows no bounds. The principles of Confucianism, with their focus on morality, virtue, and education, had found a new expression in the digital age, proving once again that true learning is a never-ending journey. In this new dimension of learning, Confucius's journey was not an escape from reality, but an expansion of it. It was a testament to the enduring relevance of his teachings and a reminder that even in a world constantly chasing the next technological advancement, the quest for moral integrity and virtue remains timeless. In the heart of a bustling, modern city stood an ancient library, its walls lined with the wisdom of millennia. Among its treasured volumes was a book that seemed to hum with a life of its own, titled Confucius 360, A Journey Through Time and Philosophy. It was here that our story took root, in the hands of Alex, a curious soul with an insatiable appetite for knowledge and a particular fascination with the ancient philosophies of the East. Alex, like many of us, was navigating the complexities of contemporary life, seeking balance amidst chaos, clarity in the face of confusion. It was during a particularly challenging period, filled with personal dilemmas and ethical quandaries, that Alex stumbled upon the teachings of Confucius. The book became a beacon, guiding Alex through the fog of uncertainty with its profound yet practical wisdom. The first lesson that captivated Alex was the diversity of love. Confucius taught that love was not a monolith but a spectrum of relationships and emotions, 
each with its own significance and moral implications. This perspective helped Alex navigate personal relationships with a newfound depth and understanding, recognizing the unique value and responsibilities inherent in each bond. Moral intuition was another concept that resonated deeply. In an era where moral absolutes seemed increasingly elusive, the idea that one's intuitive sense of right and wrong could be a reliable guide was both comforting and empowering. Alex learned to trust this inner moral compass, steering through life's ethical dilemmas with confidence and grace. The principle of Lee as life-generating activity introduced Alex to the notion that everyday actions, when performed with intention and respect, could be a source of moral and spiritual nourishment. This concept transformed mundane tasks into meaningful rituals, infusing Alex's daily life with a sense of purpose and connection. Confucian emphasis on moral humility and conscientiousness struck a chord as well. In a world often obsessed with self-promotion and success at any cost, the virtues of modesty, self-awareness, and diligence in one's moral life offered a refreshing counter-narrative. Alex embraced these virtues, finding in them a path to genuine self-improvement and social harmony. The practical application of virtue ethics was perhaps the most transformative lesson. Confucianism's focus on living out virtues in everyday life challenged Alex to move beyond abstract moralizing and put principles into practice. This shift from theory to action was both challenging and rewarding, leading to tangible improvements in Alex's personal and professional relationships. Educational aspects of Confucian thought, along with the distinction between intellectual versus practical virtues, underscored the importance of a holistic approach to moral development. Alex discovered the joy of lifelong learning, not just for personal gain, but as a means to contribute to the greater good. The exploration of generalism and particularism in morality, and the integration of ethics and ontology, provided a nuanced framework for understanding the complexities of ethical decision-making. These teachings helped Alex appreciate the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of considering the broader implications of one's actions. Throughout this journey, Alex skillfully deployed idioms and real-life examples, drawing from the rich tapestry of Confucian philosophy to navigate the challenges of modern life. The teachings of Confucius, ancient yet timeless, offered not just a way of thinking but a way of living, a path to balance, harmony, and ethical integrity in an ever-changing world. Confucius 360, a journey through time and philosophy, was more than just a book for Alex. It was a companion, a mentor, and a mirror reflecting the timeless quest for wisdom, virtue, and the art of living well. Through this journey, Alex not only discovered the depth of Confucian thought, but also the immense potential within to lead a life of purpose, guided by the enduring principles of one of humanity's greatest sages. In the heart of Silicon Valley, amidst the ceaseless hum of innovation and the relentless pursuit of technological advancement, a unique project emerged, blending the ancient wisdom of Confucian philosophy with the cutting-edge realm of virtual reality, VR. This project, spearheaded by a team of visionary developers and storytellers, sought to immerse users in the profound teachings of Confucius, transforming abstract concepts into vivid, interactive experiences. At the core of this endeavor was the belief that the sages' insights into morality, ethics, and human relationships could offer invaluable guidance in our increasingly digital world. As the project unfolded, the narrative prowess of the team came to the fore, crafting scenarios that were not only immersive, but also deeply resonant with the essence of Confucian thought. Through the expert application of Confucian philosophy, they wove together stories that illuminated the diversity of love, the importance of moral intuition, and the vitality of Li as a life-generating activity. They explored moral humility, conscientiousness, and the practical application of virtue ethics, all within the captivating realms of VR. The experience began with a simple yet profound introduction to Confucianism, highlighting its relevance in today's society. Users were then guided through a series of virtual environments, each designed to reflect key aspects of Confucian thought. In one scenario, Participants navigated a bustling ancient Chinese marketplace, tasked with making decisions that tested their moral intuition and understanding of Li. In another, they entered a serene garden, engaging in dialogues that challenged them to demonstrate moral humility and conscientiousness. 
the narrative technique was nothing short of masterful, with idioms and real-life samples skillfully deployed to enrich the storytelling. Phrases like walking the middle path and the harmony of different virtues were not just spoken but experienced, as users made choices that affected the virtual world around them. The inclusion of real-life examples, such as contemporary dilemmas involving technology and ethics, further bridged the gap between ancient philosophy and modern life. Throughout the VR journey, the team ensured a careful balance between uniqueness and listener engagement, adhering to copyright rules and producing content that was substantial yet digestible. The result was a narrative that was not only engaging from start to finish, but also deeply educational, offering insights into how Confucian values could be applied in everyday life. As users emerged from the experience, many found themselves reflecting on the practical application of virtue ethics and the importance of education in moral development. The distinction between intellectual and practical virtues, previously an abstract concept, now had tangible significance. The experience sparked conversations about generalism and particularism in morality, ethics and ontology, and the role of technology in shaping our ethical landscape. Ancient wisdom, modern tech, exploring Confucius's teachings in VR became more than just a project. It was a pioneering exploration of how ancient philosophy could inform and enrich modern technology. It demonstrated the timeless relevance of Confucian teachings, offering a beacon of moral guidance in the digital age. Through the power of narrative and the immersive potential of VR, the project offered a compelling vision of how we might navigate the complexities of contemporary life with wisdom, virtue, and moral intuition. Once upon a time, in a world where virtual reality VR had become as common as smartphones, a groundbreaking experience was introduced. Step into wisdom, unveiling Confucius's world in virtual reality, blended ancient philosophy with cutting-edge technology, offering users a journey through time and wisdom. This narrative, inspired by the teachings of Confucius and the creative prowess of a master storyteller, takes you on an unparalleled adventure. The experience starts in a virtual recreation of Confucius's study, where every scroll, ink stone, and wooden beam was meticulously crafted to transport users thousands of years back to ancient China. The air is thick with the scent of ink and parchment. The ambience, a bridge between the past and the present, sets the stage for a profound exploration of Confucian philosophy. As users navigate through the VR world, they encounter various scenarios designed to illuminate Confucius's teachings. One moment, they're standing in a virtual village where the importance of family and the diversity of love are vividly brought to life. Confucianism's recognition of different forms and expressions of love is depicted through interactive narratives where users must resolve conflicts or make decisions that affect the virtual community. Moving on, the concept of moral intuition is explored. Users find themselves faced with moral dilemmas where they must rely on their inner sense of right and wrong, a direct nod to Confucian values. The experience emphasizes how intuition plays a crucial role in understanding and practicing morality, encouraging users to listen to their inner voice. In another segment, Li is reimagined as a series of life-generating activities. Users engage in virtual rituals that celebrate the ontological articulation of love as good, understanding how these practices contribute to the harmony of society. Through these interactions, the VR experience underscores how Lee transcends mere social etiquette, embodying a vital force that nurtures the communal fabric. Conscientiousness is woven into the fabric of the narrative, challenging users to be diligent and careful in their virtual interactions. This segment of the journey stresses the importance of being mindful of one's actions and their impact on others, reflecting the Confucian virtue of conscientiousness in a digital age. The experience also delves into the practical application of virtue ethics, presenting scenarios where users must demonstrate honesty, loyalty, and respect. Here, the distinction between intellectual and practical virtues is made clear, as users realize that knowing what is right is different from doing what is right. Educational aspects are seamlessly integrated, with users learning about Confucian thought through engaging puzzles and challenges. These activities not only enlighten but also entertain, illustrating how education is crucial for moral development and social harmony. As the VR journey concludes, 
users are left to ponder the balance between generalism and particularism in morality. Through a series of reflective questions, the experience invites users to consider their own ethical decisions and the tensions that arise in trying to apply universal principles to specific situations. Step into wisdom, unveiling Confucius's world in virtual reality is not just a technological marvel. It's a narrative masterpiece that bridges the gap between ancient philosophy and modern life. It demonstrates how the timeless wisdom of Confucius can be made relevant today, using the power of virtual reality to engage, educate, and inspire. Through this immersive journey, users gain not only knowledge but a profound understanding of how to live a virtuous life. In the heart of a bustling metropolis, where the ceaseless hum of activity rarely fades, there existed a unique sanctuary, a virtual reality studio that promised more than just escape. It offered a deep dive into the realms of ancient wisdom, specifically through the lens of Confucian philosophy. The studio, known as Virtue's Odyssey, was the brainchild of Alex Chun, a visionary who believed in the transformative power of storytelling, especially stories that had the power to enlighten as well as entertain. Alex, a master of narrative craft with a penchant for the teachings of Confucius, had long been fascinated by the potential of virtual reality to educate and inspire. He envisioned a program that would not only immerse users in the ancient world of Confucianism, but also allow them to experience firsthand the application of its virtues in daily life. The program, titled Embracing the Past, a VR odyssey into Confucian philosophy, was a culmination of years of research, creativity, and technological innovation. On the surface, the experience seemed straightforward. Participants would don VR headsets and be transported to ancient China, where they would interact with various scenarios designed to illustrate key aspects of Confucian thought. Yet, what set this odyssey apart was its intricate narrative, skillfully woven by Alex, whose ability to craft engaging stories was second to none. The odyssey began in a tranquil garden, where users met an AI guide modeled after Confucius himself. With a voice as warm as the sun's embrace, the guide introduced the participants to the concept of Li as a life-generating activity. Li, he explained, is not merely a set of rituals. It is the expression of love and respect that nurtures life and harmony in every interaction. This introduction served as a gateway to scenarios where users could practice Li, from resolving conflicts to participating in ceremonies, each activity designed to enrich understanding and encourage reflection. As the journey progressed, participants encountered various situations that challenged them to apply Confucian virtues in complex, sometimes ambiguous circumstances. One scenario involved a dispute between neighbors, where participants had to navigate the tensions between moral intuition and the conscientious application of virtue ethics. Another scenario placed users in a role where they had to balance humility with the need to correct a societal wrong. Through these experiences, users learned that Confucianism was not about rigid adherence to rules, but about understanding the fluid nature of morality and the importance of context. The use of idioms, skillfully deployed throughout the narrative, added depth and color to the experience. Phrases like, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, reminded users that every effort towards virtue, no matter how small, was valuable. The idiom to go beyond is as wrong as to fall short, emphasized the importance of moderation and balance in pursuing a virtuous life. Real life examples, integrated seamlessly into the narrative, enhanced credibility and connection. One scenario was inspired by a modern day educator who applied Confucian principles to transform his school into a harmonious, thriving community. This not only demonstrated the relevance of ancient wisdom in contemporary settings, but also inspired users to consider how they might apply these lessons in their own lives. Alex's unmatched narrative ability ensured that each user's journey through embracing the past was a roller coaster of emotions. From the awe of discovering ancient rituals to the satisfaction of successfully resolving conflicts using Confucian principles. The closing scenario brought users back to the tranquil garden where Confucius's AI avatar shared final reflections, highlighting the diversity of love and the significance of living out virtues in a practical manner. Virtue's Odyssey struck a careful balance between uniqueness and engagement, respecting copyright rules while offering a substantial, impactful experience. Alex's tales, 
especially embracing the past, demonstrated that the most powerful stories are those that not only transport us to different worlds, but also bring us back to our own with new eyes and a deeper understanding of life's virtues. This VR odyssey into Confucian philosophy was more than just a narrative journey. It was a bridge connecting the past and present, inviting all who traversed it to embrace the timeless wisdom of Confucian thought in their daily lives.